Anastasia Grace here with the show Twin Flames, Power Couples and Relationships. We are going to go every Wednesday. If you are in Australia, it's Wednesday, 5 p.m. for Queensland and 6 p.m. for New South Wales. And it's my first show. It's my first time here on Spiritual Events Directory. Please bear with me. I am going to be um, making sure that we, you can see me, you can hear me, uh, join me. Please let me know. Hey, Janita, please let me know if you can hear me well. Uh, I am adjusting my technology that it is all working well. I will be seeing your comments, your questions. Uh, hi, Shakti. Hello again. Thank you so much for joining me again. We are going to have wonderful conversations, wonderful. The subject of, oh, sound is perfect. Thank you, Shakti. Uh, the subject of relationships, you know, it's a huge, deep, amazing subject. So we are going to be unfolding uh, this conversation as weeks go by. Please do feel free to post your questions. Uh, message me and we uh, uh, I will be answering them and at some point I will be offering things like clearing like channelings and um, like giving you answers to your particular situation in life because twin flame journey it is a spiritual journey more than anything and if you're here and you're watching this it means that you are on your journey it means that you are actually um you know well ahead a huge percentage of of population because you if if you look back on the history of humanity you will notice that you unions and marriages and uh, couples were created for survival purpose. However, we are moving into this whole new area of life where t Twin Flames is a spiritual union. It's a, it's a journey back to source and to the divinity and uh, power couples uh, the couples are uh, the ones that live for the higher purpose together not not for the survival purposes anymore but some for something much much bigger than than, than themselves and I will be sharing my story. I am in a twi twin couple relationship. Relationships is something I have been uh, studying uh, and working uh, with for many years now. And I will share my story, my background. And uh, yeah, feel free to, to ask me any questions. I, I, I will share my journey with my experience with with that. Uh, so for those who just joined, my name is Anastasia Grace. Uh, I am a healer, practitioner, channeler, Akashic Records uh, uh, practitioner. I work with different modalities for many years now. My uh, focus was a lot on healing traumas. I have gone through my deep and big journey of uh, my own healing and I have been a practitioner for a number of years now dealing with um, all kinds of life situations for my dear clients from being deeply depressed and on antidepressants for 25 years coming into the beautiful aliveness uh, and fully self-expression, healing deepest uh, heart wounds and opening up from um, moving from uh, abusive marriage and to finding the twin flame relationship. That's, uh, I have a few couples actually that worked with me, uh, like a few people that worked with me and have then ended up in the twin flame relationship as a soul um, 
uh, soul journey. Oh, Mary was asking, uh, uh, can you read me? My marriage is not uh, doing good. Yes. Yeah, so for cases like that, very individual cases, the way I work is uh, I will probably later on in, in, in my show, uh, I will be picking a few people that I can bring on on camera and I can work and then um, then I can specifically work on your issue. Uh, today we are going to be more talking uh, talking about in general. I will give you a little bit of a overview and uh, introduction to the subject and what's possible. What is this journey with uh, with with, with, with our relationships, right? Um, myself, I do also, apart from being a channel and having psychic abilities, I do receive messages, I do, you know, journey and medicine and uh, receive my information from uh, different, different sources. So I will be sharing what I know, what I have learned, what I have experienced, what has been shown to me. So, and the main thing that I would like to start with is that relationships and marriages and unions, it is the spiritual journey. It is a um, coming together to find that, that place of source and place of connection. We live in a duality, we live in a dual world. And this planet has been created in a way that the masculine and the feminine join, uh, joins together. So any kind of um, connection that you bring in this world, it is a spiritual. It, it is a spiritual journey. It is a, 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 an awakening of your spirit. It is an experience that your soul has created. If you are in the place of I don't want any relationship whatsoever, like I'm done, I am too hurt, then you are still in the place of hurt and pain and disconnection. Even just coming to that realization that I do want a relationship, I do want a partner, I or do want to be in that collaboration, in the union, in the, to be joined in, that is the journey of expansion. It means that you are coming to the place where you have healed some of the, maybe most of them, maybe a lot of them, maybe all of your wounds. Um, whatever you 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 have healed, few things are going to be triggered. Uh, I will cover in the twin flame uh, co conversation as well, is that twin flame relationship is not some, is not what you think it is. It's, it's, it's been romanticized a lot. A lot of, a lot of time uh, in our life, love is being uh, romanticized, you know, it's like, oh, because if, it, if it's love, then it's all wonderful. And quite often we forget that love uh, is actually a journey, right? It's a journey to yourself and also expanding from self outwards and connecting to the ones that are near us and then expanding further and connecting to the community. And the more you love you can hold, the more you can expand, uh, the more things you can hold, the higher your level of consciousness. It's like the, the integration happens uh, you know, gradually, or it could be some event that will 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 burst your um, your your awakening, your your expansion, and then you can hold more. Part of this, uh, what I what part of uh, this conversation that we are going to have about power couples. Power couples is in my, again, my definition and what I work with and what I work with uh, clients is a union where both uh, um, people are empowered and 
both are on the journey of growing, developing, evolving, having business together, if that's uh, you know part of your journey, or both being on the purpose, both being on the mission, and at the same time, keeping that connection, keeping that beautiful intimacy, and being connected across all chakras. Uh, how often do we see relationships that um, he, you know, they, the, the couple becomes connected through the business and they become really good partners and their con communication is great, they become friends, but then sexual part of the relationship falls off and there is no sex for uh, sometimes for years. I had a client who haven't, uh, you know, they didn't have any sexual uh, relationship with, with, with her husband for five years. However, staying great friends and great family, raising children, and that is not a power couple in my definition because being, being fully um, activated in all of your chakras, it means being activated in your sexuality and having this connection, being activated in your heart and having a heart connection, ha being activated in your self-expression and have the great communication between you two, being activated in your um, in your mind, in your, uh, exchanging the visions, uh, having third eye chakra activated for both of you, where you do have a joint, a common vision, and you are ready and, and um, willing to move forward together, aligned, and realigning yourself again and again, because it is a constant process. It's not something that can happen once. It's like, okay, we have met, off we go. Everything from here on is going to be great. It's the journey of connection and reconnection uh, every single day, every single moment, every single hour. It is a commitment. Commitment to yourself, commitment to your growth, commitment to your heart, uh, commitment to another person, commitment to, to your soul, and commitment to the divine. Because our, our souls, and we are guided, we are guided into relationships by our souls and it, to win flame is that the case is exactly the case when we are guided into uh, the spiritual journey with another human being so let's talk about twin flames let's talk about what is it and um why did i say it's not something you you would expect Twin flame is incredible magnetic connection that is unexplainable and sometimes undescribable. When I have first experienced it, my first question was when I first met this man and I we touched, my first question that uncontrollably came out of my mouth was who are you i couldn't put it into words i could not explain I, 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 you know we hear a lot of these terms like oh soulmate soul connection uh magnet but that was beyond any kind of words that i've known it's nothing that i could explain with words only with uh and incredible feeling that there's something beyond me in that moment i have very clearly realized that there is a little human here and a human with a human heart and a, you know this there's a human attraction which is physical which is that animal attraction but also when i come across this person there's another human being this man there's something well beyond me and I don't know what is and I can't explain it. I can put labels on it, but even labels are not really 
describing it well. Something you need to know is that a person that you have such a magnetic attraction, such a connection with, will trigger all of your traumas, all of your wounds, all of your insecurities, everything that hasn't been healed before will come out on the surface for you to look at it, to acknowledge it, and to heal it. Also, even if it's a twin flame or soulmate relationships, we are not, um, you know, uh, we, we, we are not protected from the clashes of personalities. We are like multi-layered beings. We have personalities, we have identities, we have programs in us, unconscious programs. And part of the work that I do, it is the unconscious program and or removing, uh, uh, uncovering them, realizing them, um, making them obvious so they can disappear, so we can clear them. It, unconscious programming is still there and when you come across even most beautiful and divine oh, connection and divine um, pool it's like that's how I would describe it if you are looking for signs to recognize uh, those connections those connections in your life that are meaningful that have somehow been placed in your life in your field before by your soul um, look for the feeling of this incredible pull it's like a magnet it's just once you have that person you will somehow energetically always know where they are no matter how many um, kilometers between you no matter how much um, distances between you or years go by you will be able to locate them energetically with some other senses not just our five senses, some sixth sense or some uh, something beyond you. How That's how I would describe my feelings. You will have this energetic um, connection and that energetic pull on the distance. Sometimes in our lives, we are not ready to meet a twin flame. And that's when the persona, that's when the identity and your belief systems are way too rigid and way too fixed. And they, un they haven't been yet shaken up by your soul frequency they haven't been lifted up yet because any kind of relationship uh div or divine relationship deep relationships especially twin twin flames requires surrendering it requires the place of I am willing to learn what is my lesson I am willing to go through difficult moments and difficult times because your persona, your beliefs are going to be triggered. You, your shadow will come up and you will see the shadow of another person. And that's where this, you know, rigid pride or defensiveness or the barriers uh, or entitlement uh, or any kind of those emotions, they have to drop. They have to be, uh, you know, dissolved. And it, it's, it's a work. It's, it's that inner work. It's an inner process. Surrender, vulnerability, they are not easy, you know, to just to drop into. Uh, we are um, so wired for survival with such intensity that uh, vulnerability in the place of that that 
softness and intimacy and allowing uh, um, it, it it requires deep soul work it comes from the inside it comes from the conversation between you and your soul where and i had them in the beginning um i do have tools to connect to myself and and know the truth um i do use like things like self-testing muscle testing i use channeling i, I use akashic records for myself and uh, as being regressionist i do uh regressions into past lives and between lives between lives the regression is that when we meet our um, masters teaching teachers we go back to where we come from and we go back to the to the source where the soul was born and in that moment we are able to ask questions and answer them and receive the answers from within ourselves so i had those tools to help me navigate in my journey and still it was not the easy one when i met my 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 partner my twin flame um that i have been in a um, relationship and a sacred marriage now for five years um the question is do i do regression online i can take a person through the regression over zoom yes it's possible it's uh, you know like any hypnosis uh, as long as we have internet connections you can hear me i can see you so i can follow um, a person's journey and we speak uh, and you speak under hypnosis under the regression uh, you see things i can see what you see and you also answer questions you you share you speak what you see it's incredible incredible process and you can get all of your uh, questions answered you can come with a list of 20 questions and 30 questions and find out where did you come from what is your essence what planet you're from if you believe in in that uh, whatever your belief system system is um, you know why what's your purpose why are you here um, what is your essence? What are you great at? Why you have? Why certain events in your life happen the way they happen? Um, why do you meet this person or this person? You can get all of your um, qu qu questions answered. And I am the person who always have a lot of questions. I always had a lot of questions. First, I remember myself like from the age of eight asking and and uh, uh, seeing that this 3d reality is not making any sense it just doesn't make sense he rules what we live like this why it doesn't make any sense what is behind the veil what has created like if you've seen the the movie matrix is that sense of that there's something underneath behind it creating the picture like i had that from the age of eight and uh my only design life or only purpose in life was to look behind the veil and understand how this world uh, operates and my teaching is that masculine and the feminine energy on this planet that's the essence of our mother earth that's the pl essence of this of this um of this planet so the unions are so incredibly important not just for the development of your soul of who you are but also for development of the humanity and a, li a life on this planet overall because from that union everything gets born that orgasmic energy that is created when masculine and feminine comes together that's the essence of of god that's the that's the god molecular the orgasm there are this incredible boom uh big bang that's the essence of the universe and we get to experience it every single day in our union when our hearts and 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 bodies and souls merge in that incredible delicious er, experience orgasmicness that's when we 
feel that we are all that we are one we are more than just this body or this persona or this identity or this human in in incredible i absolutely love um this subject and this this journey absolutely love and i'm so grateful for this life to be the way it is for these experiences that we can have uh, with another human being and through another human being and how we can experience ourselves of being outside of our body with someone else and being with a twin flame is like having a constant mirror it's like this mirror it's it, uh, looks similar but different it's like opposite but it's not it's the same but it's not and it's incredible feeling of experiencing yourself in another person at the same time having a, a, you know like like yeah like it like it like a twin soul and it's not at the same time right um the feeling of uh, traveling through time and space together it's ever present in uh, this kind of connections in uh, this kind of relationships existing outside of time and space continuum that's the constant experience um the feeling of coming home being at home anywhere at any time that's the experience and i guess that's why um the subject of a twin flame is so popular uh, or so um you know s s so captivating so many people are um completely mesmerized by the subject uh, it, it is not a common occurrence it is fairly rare and it requires a certain journey to arrive to that place when we when you join in that union and if if you are to take out the most important thing from this conversation is that a place of surrender, the feeling of surrender, the feeling of or, or willingness to go through whatever, whatever there is, that's the pathway, that's the entry point uh, into coming, into joining yourself in, in, the, in the relationship. In my story, so going back to the uh, to the conversation, uh, when I first met him, and it was very triggering. It was very triggering. So I was using all of my tools and all of my knowledge to uh, re to understand to understand how it can be so excruciatingly painful and so magni like m is so unbearably pulling me in oh Shakti you can relate to everything you say this is incredible i'm so happy if, if you are experiencing this oh my god i'm so happy for you i would wish everyone on this planet and that's part of my missions part of my journey of um helping the relationships helping people to come to the place of love helping to people to come to the place of that uh, readiness to attract beautiful love into their life um because we are the only obstacle Truly, it, 
if if you think you haven't found um, the one or haven't attracted and it's somehow, you know, universe is just getting ready or bringing that person to you or it just needs time, it only needs time because you you are not ready. It only needs time because you still have something to let go of or to heal your heart or to... Um, to open your heart or heal your wounds, um, that would be the only reason why you're not with the person that you would love to be with, or you're not feeling at home with the with a partner, with your partner. I'm just gonna take a sip. Um, yeah, so feeling of coming home. And uh, that, that feeling of the soul resting, soul coming back home. Because many of us do not feel on the planet Earth as being home. And because majority of our souls have been born on different planets. And you might, be, might not believe that, or you might. Uh, you might believe in reincarnation, or you might not. However, I will be sharing my knowledge, what I know and what I've been uh, taught and what I've seen and the messages that I have received. And whatever your beliefs are, um, the essence of all the beliefs of all of the religions, it is coming back to the divine. It is coming back to the source. It is coming back to love. And what is the best way to come to love, but the love with another person, isn't it? Where love is reflected back to you. You're not just emanating love into the world, but it's actually mirrored back to you at the same time, providing you with that nourishment of the physical connection of uh, that beauty of safety and um, nurturing and loving you and accepting you and supporting you and hearing you uh, that's it's a blue beautiful place to be in and every human being deserves that every human being uh, can have access to it and should have access to it right send me some love hearts if you agree that every human being on this planet deserves to be loved deserves to be nurtured deserves to be kept safe deserves to be uh, nourished and protected and deserves to be seen and heard and deserves that connection because the conne connection love and connection is one of our main human needs as a human and it is an essence of our soul at the same time so that's the place where we feel most comfortable and most at home in the place of love uh, however the life gets busy the priorities of this life sometimes are all twisted in a way that mm, money or survival or status or you know think material things or some other things that are not of such importance they become important However, think about this. In we are wired for love in all aspects of ourselves. Soul being the vibration of joy and love. And our physical body needing love. There is an ex you might have heard about the experiment with little babies, the orphans that were born and they divided them into two groups. Uh, babies that were orphans were, were touched and caressed and picked up by nurses in the, f uh, in the first months of their life. And there was a, uh, some babies that were not touched and attended, but they were fed and they were 
you know they were warm they were looked after but they were not touched and uh, caressed and, and hugged and picked up and those babies have died because our physical body is wired for the touch like our senses our skin is is created uh, and wired for, for being for being nurtured for being held for that that warmth for the hug of another human being um our um ego our persona our um psyche as a human is also wired for love because that's one of our human needs to be part of the social for to be part of society be part of the tribe and it 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 is why it is for survival as well to be part of the tribe to be accepted to be loved so love is our natural state and it's not just a necessity hey journey um for the reading i will be doing in my future um live streams for sure and um i will be bringing people on camera so we can have um we can have a deeper reading it, it it will require a little bit of time and today i uh, as as this being the first show i would love to give you an introduction first and and uh, the, the like the subject uh, to cover kind of main aspects of the subject and then we can go deeper into discovery of the journey of being a couple creating a mag magnificent uh, partnerships creating magnificent relationships and also knowing how to identify a twin, f twin flame or how to speed up the process of connecting to your twin flame how um to heal yourself from the past, from the past wounds, from the past hurts. Uh, so you become open because open heart is number one requirement for that, for that connection to be, for that beautiful love to come to your, into your space. Unless you heal unless your heart is open you will be attracting uh, people as wounded as you are and you are going to be on the same level you will be staying on the same level until you are ready to let go let go of the of the past let go of the wounds let go of the hurt let go of the expectations and move to the next level and depends on what level there is you might find a person who is less wounded or just meets you on that level or it, you can jump straight to the place of meeting that one the one um, in my case it was a really speedy fast jump i have taken a couple of years to heal and recover from my first marriage my first marriage was f uh, f i was married for 15 years and it ended up in the divorce we have i, I got married 21 i was sure that i'm going to live my whole life with this person and it was very normal very very traditional very standard type of relationship there was a lot of love we fell in love we were young we were excited and we just you know like oh my god i love you you love me let's get married of course let's get married let's do this and then well we are married and look we have home let's have children yes of course let's have children and that kind of it went until to the, and, and and to the point until the point where um we've i've discovered that we have no common 
interests, that something that interests me completely annoys and irritates him. My views, uh, not, not so much even views, but my visions of my future, my purpose and this life were completely, um, you know, he completely dismissed me dismissed them. We were like dif from on different planets and not from good ones, you know. There was a lot of like criticism and pushing down and uh, competition and just a lot of viciousness. And uh, I, I, I was always shocked by this. I was always shocked by uh, this. Uh, the situations where it become vicious um, because in my um, view of the world relationships marriages should be the most delightful and the safest place to be and most most incredible experience how could this happen that a person that I've chosen to be my partner all of a sudden um, well not all of a sudden <laughs> just it never happens all of a sudden right it, there, there are always clues and there is always things kind of happening uh, but it's just like that frog that sits in a warm water until it goes to boil you don't notice until it it's boiling hot and you and and then it becomes unbearable and that's when far couples um fall apart isn't it yeah, and uh, uh, Mariel is having says it happens with my husband. Yeah, so we definitely um, can uh, dive into that um, in in our next uh, session and conversation. I think uh, it would be actually useful and helpful to many couples out there or to many people out there. Um, I believe there's not enough um, education about relationships, about um, masculine and the feminine, about the energetics of it, uh, about just the basics of psychology and behavioral, in, you know, behavioral studies, and not enough information for us to create those healthy relationships that would be empowering and supporting each other rather than continuously tearing e each other apart so m eventually my my marriage has ended and i took few years to heal and recover and explore i was back on the dating game at the age of 36 it was a very interesting experience and um, I, I, uh, what, what happened, what, what was interesting, well, when I said my progress went from here to here, after I've done all the healing and all the dating and all the exploration from, from Tantra to, uh, you know, um, like open relationships to polyamory to uh, psychology of dating psychology of marriage of uh, gender communication i've learned all of this i went through all the healing modalities i worked so much on myself i have explored so much i was eventually ready and in my mind in my mind i was ready i was like okay i'm ready for the relationship i'm now i'm ready to meet um my true love i i'm now ready to meet my 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 partner someone who matches me someone who i am going to have an incredible life with and i can fully show myself and I fully explore explore this life with my true soulmate and months were going by and the, he was not anywhere to be seen and I did a lot of inquiry into this it happened like that it happened like that um, f f after I have opened my heart and I have realized how shut my heart was in despite of all the work I've done, despite of the all the healing and all the clearings and and I have gone through every modality on 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 this 
on this planet. You can name a modality and I, I will tell you that, yeah, I I know it. I, it. I'm either trained in it or I use it in my work or I've been done. I've done the healing using that modality. I've tried everything. I just love that. I live, I live it's my life. Um, I, I'm not interested in anything else but uh, human psychology, us as, as, a, as a spiritual beings, us as, us as a physical beings, us as, um, in, in, you know, these wicked creatures uh, that are driven by so many things, by energetics, by the soul, by the, the, our mission, by our purpose, by our, uh, by our sexuality. We're constantly either torn apart by all those pieces of us and all, the, all those aspects. We're so multifaceted. We're so incredibly holographic. And we have everything in us. We have this, you know, scared little animal. At the same time, we have this mo most incredible, magnificent part of us, which is completely divine. Um, so many of us ca carry alien codes as well. Anyway, humans are incredibly fascinating. And I have, I, I was uh, sure that I've done all the healing there is, and I'm ready. Until the point where I cracked my heart open in a way that I have never cracked it open before. I was on the floor screaming from pain, praying and crying to God, the universe, divine, to my soul, to, to, to the Mother Earth, to everyone and everything that we could listen and hear me. And I was asking for this force to open my heart. And the way it felt is like my spine was coming, like opening up like a turtle shell. It was just cracking open. And if you're asking why on the back, because on the back we have our spiritual heart. Here at the front we have a human and emo emotional heart that are very much we are scared of hurting and we, we when we when we say, oh, my heart is broken, um, that's the physical reaction. That's the actual chemical reaction in our physical heart. Our spiritual heart and our divine connection is at the back of the heart. And usually if you notice uh, yourself um, shutting down, if you're really hurt or you're really in stressful situation, you will have a lot of tension at the back of your heart, across the shoulder blades, and you will feel like a heavy panel, like a brick on at the, at the back of your heart. That's the, that's your spiritual heart. That's your divine connection. Um, that's the entry point to the sacred space of your heart. So I was praying and crying and asking for the, uh, my heart to be cracked open and I was surrendering. Why did I say in the beginning of this talk, in this conversation, a surrender? Because at some point you would ha need to place your identity your expectations, your fears, your all of that, what human being runs on in our psyche, you would have to put it on the altar of your spiritual development, of your spiritual opening and getting yourself cracked open. Within two months of that opening, I have met my, my twin flame. It took only two months. And the jump in the awareness, in the, in the evolution of my being was immense. It, it was a whole new level. It was a completely different level of connection and a completely different level of relationship and me experiencing myself. It's nothing like I have ever experienced before. 
it's a, it's a whole new responsibility because when you do connect on um on on such a spiritual level when you connect with your twin flame you come together to fulfill a, a certain purpose what's the difference between just normal relationships and twin flame relationships twin flames come come for the be come together for the good of the humanity for the good of all for the good of the energy uh, and the vibration on this planet and not just on this planet but as uh, in, in the, on a soul level in general it spills out to other dimensions that's how i would explain it that connection of the twin flame the that merger is it, it spills out not only across your um, spectrum of your soul in time and space as in time and space does not exist but into the future and into the past as and your expression of your soul as it is everywhere on all of your dimensions So it is a responsibility. It is a responsibility and you feel as, okay, I cannot play small anymore in here. I actually need to take, uh, take responsibility for m my human, for my feelings and emotions because they will pop up. Your, your survival or your um, you know desire to protect yourself desire to run away desire to escape this massive incredible energy and opening those thoughts will pop up and it is your job to continue the journey it is your job to continue ev evolution it is your journey to keep surrendering and keep opening the heart and keep trusting and keep forgiving and you would need to forgive again and again and again and again thousands times over forgive yourself forgive your partner forgive everyone around you because that's that's the journey that's the path of um surrendering and the path of the spiritual journey um okay we have only a couple of minutes left Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the conversation. I will go through the comments and uh, I am open to any kind of questions that you might have. Um, I will be taking in our next uh, conversations in next show. There will be a possibility as well to jump on a call uh especially once we kind of cover um, the, the 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 subject more in depth you can find me on anastasia grace coaching facebook page or anastasiagrace.com that's my website page anastasia grace uh, it's my instagram and uh, sometimes I do offer uh, free Akashic readings, complimentary, but majority of my work is actually working with those programs with um, releasing the past, releasing the traumas, releasing the wounds of, um, of, the, of the past, the wounds of rejection, abandonment, betrayal, um, humiliation injustice those are five core wounds hey um katrina exactly what i needed here oh, i'm so glad that you got um some great realizations out of that um yes we do sometimes need to hear uh, uh, uh especially you know the subjects of surrender i have been i have been shown it and taught that many times and it was was not easy to come for me to do that as being a strong person, being a very, you know, um, driven and very determined person. Surrender is not something that it comes naturally. Uh, yeah, so uh, please uh, find me on uh, social media, 
um, connect with me, ask me any questions, um, to test into your particular situations, I, I would need to connect in and, and dive in deeper. Um, it is not as just simple as, and I, I never like giving um, just surface answers. I do like diving deep, and usually it is um, quite deep in, in the unconscious mind. Um, those those wounds or traumas, the five core wounds we all carry, and they can be healed very fairly easily. Mm, it, it brings incredible results when we heal those wounds. Um, I do. I remove heart wall uh, to open to open the heart, to open the energetics, to or to increase the waves wavelength of of the heart. Um, so you can emanate and exchange with the universe uh, m much freer um, after those healings. Um, I do in a child work, shadow work, uh, in using different modalities like timeline uh, therapy and reprogramming your beliefs and opening opening you to that new stage in your life when you can attract and you are open and you are ready for those magnificent experiences and magnificent love. So. Uh, yes, beautiful Shakti. It's uh, my um, website is anastashagrace.com, and my Facebook page is Anastasia Grace Healing. Please do um, find me. Um, yeah, it seems like we do have a beautiful connection and um, similar journeys. It's incredible. I absolutely love and love finding. Uh, you know. Con connections throughout the world um, as well and that's all I've got to say uh, for today I will see you next week uh, every Wednesday f same time of 5 p.m. Queensland if you're in Australia 6 p.m. New South Wales New South Wales or anywhere where you in, in the world same time I will see you next week Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day and amazing week. Bye.